Welcome. In this short video, I would like to introduce you Stia Concrete section, which is a standalone software for design and check of reinforced concrete section. All routines are according to Eurocode 2. Content of the movie is following. First of all, I would like to uh, say some words about the user interface. Then I would like to present you check of a simple rectangular section. Later on I will design a reinforcement for general shape of cross section. Then we uh, check this design reinforcement according to uh, checks which are described in Eurocode 2 and at the end we will speak about outputs and export of the calculation. Let me go to the application as a such. Stia Concrete section has a simple user interface. It is simple dialog with five tabs. On the first tab you can add short description for the current job. Then you can select calculation type check or design. There is also possibility to select type of the member, beam or column. In the case of column you can easily input buckling data and perform check of slenderness of the whole member and also recalculation of internal forces with respect to the second order effect. The second tab is related to the cross section parameters. You can select from wide area of predefined uh, section shapes and you can also create a general shape via simple table which will be visible in uh, design of uh, reinforcement for the general uh, shape of cross section. For check of uh, cross section you have to input the reinforcement on a special tab you can select from predefined reinforcement templates or use table input for the general shape. In this case you have to input coordinates plus diameter of the bar. Last tab is related to the setup input. You can also select from predefined shape or in the case of general shape you have to input the outline polygon of the setup. When you have defined cross-section, you can select classes of particular materials on a material tab. After input of the material, you will probably continue with the input of the load. You can easily tap, you can easily uh, set the values into the cell or use your keyboard with the copied data for, from Excel, for example. In the case of the column calculation, you have to also input internal forces at the end and at the beginning of the member. And for the deflections, you have to input the elastic deformation from serviceability limit states. The last tab is related to the general settings of the application. You can change the national annex from the standard to Austrian, Belgian, British, Czech or Finnish for example and you can also change some settings for the ULS or SLS checks or some uh, parameters used for the design. We offer possibility to see of several levels of output from one age four page to the really detailed output. Let's start with simple example which will describe you mentioned features. I'll do the check of a simple rectangular cross section with these dimensions. Width will be equal to 300 millimeters and the height will be equal to 500 millimeters. As a reinforcement I use 3 bars diameter 20 for the bottom layer of reinforcement and 2 bars diameter 20 for the 
top layer of reinforcement. As a setup, I will use this uh, simple shape with the diameter equal to 8 millimeters and the spacing between setup is equal to 150 millimeters. As a material, I will use the concrete class C2530. For the longitudinal reinforcement, I will use class B500B and the same class I will use also for uh, shear reinforcement. Let me go to the uh, input of the load and I can use my clipboard so I can go to the Excel, press Ctrl C, go back to the application, Ctrl V and during the input all calculations is done and I can see the result of the calculation for following uh, ultimate limit states. Check of response which is based on a limit stress strain. Check of capacity based on the resistance forces obtained from the interaction diagram. Check of shear reinforcement with the possibility to check biaxial shear. Check of torsion with the automatic creation of the effective thin wallet cross section also for the arbitrary cross-section and for the displaying I will use the detailed layout so when I will speak about the capacity from the interaction diagram I can display the shape of the interaction diagram in the case capacity response I can see the stress-strain distribution along the height of the cross-section in the case of the biaxial shear, I'm able to check all the used formulas in the calculation. In the case of uh, torsion, I have been speaking about the creation of the effective uh, thin wallet cross section. And then I can continue with the uh, serviceability limit state checks, which is a correct check. There is a possibility to input the user limit width of the crack. Then there is a stress uh, limitation check which is based on the limit stress and strain for serviceability limit states and the last uh, check is related to the deflections and calculation of the stiffness of the cross section. As I said you can produce the very brief a summary which is displayed on a one page four or you can select the two page A4 with the most important details about the checks and as we show as we seen uh, there is also possibility to detailed output. I would like to present to you also the design of uh, longitudinal and shear reinforcement for the general shape of the cross section. So I will switch it to the design, go to the cross section. I will use the general shape. For this shape, I need to define the outline of the cross section. So I can use the possibility to use the clipboard. I will copy the coordinates from the Excel input the values. I will use the same uh, material which I used for the check of a uh, simple rectangular cross section and for the load I can do the same copy so I'll go to the Excel, input the load and on the background all calculation is done. So I see the total area of the reinforcement depicted in the picture when I will switch it to the brief I will see also the recalculated bars in a cross section and also I have the information about the designed sheen reinforcement and if I would like to see the detail output I can use it and check all the formulas used in the calculation. Moreover, 
when I have uh, designed reinforcement with these bars, I can go back to the member and switch from calculation types check from design to the check and check the designed reinforcement. So I have this shape of the stirrup with these bars and here you can see the results of the calculation for the ULS limit states because the design is done according to ultimate limit states for the combination of the normal force and the bending moments in the case of the longitudinal reinforcement and for shear is used the biaxial shear. And at the end I would like to uh, show you the possibility of the export of the calculation. You can do the direct print of your calculation just uh, click on the button print and you can use your printer or via the PDF creator you can create uh, the PDF so here is the PDF uh, output and you can see that there are all information which you have seen in the application or you can, exp can export the calculation to the Word as a set of pictures. The last but not least possibility is to include this calculation to our engineering report via one click. Thank you for your attention and watching of this video. In the case of the interest in SCIA concrete section, don't hesitate to contact Niemeczek SCIA. Goodbye.